Good evening everyone, Late Night Mega here, and tonight we're going to do another premiere draft of Wilds of Eldraine. Uh, I know this is the 11th draft video we've done, and I think I originally set out and said like 6 to 10 drafts, but you know what? I like drafting, and uh, if the gaming channel ends up suffering a bit down the line, then so be it. I'm going to do what I enjoy the most. Um... And I, I do still enjoy the gaming channel and, and the games I play over there and all that. Uh, but I also enjoy drafting as well. I did I did miss this in the time I was off. Uh, it wasn't just due to lack of interest, but also a lack of time and a lot of things going on in my personal life. Um, so yeah, I was kind of stockpiling a lot of draft tokens. Speaking of draft tokens, I got another one in the um, mailbox feature that they have now. As kind of, I don't know if everybody got it or if everybody got the same thing, uh, or if it was based on like how many drafts you entered. But remember that one draft that was screwed up a couple videos ago, where we still ended up doing well, very well. I think it was because of that, but I don't know if that's something that everyone got or if everybody just got one or if people were in multiple drafts that were messed up got multiples. But whatever, I have an extra draft token now. Still not going to use it. Uh, and this gold that I'm stockpiling, I'm going to stockpile that for some quick drafts, uh, specifically of Phyrexia All Will Be One and March of the Machines. I know we did one March of the Machine draft because we had that one quest or whatever. But um, yeah, since I kind of missed out on Premiere drafting those and, and all the chaos that was happening in my life during that time... Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do some quick drafts down the line when when those sets are available to quick draft again. All right, with all the introductions out of the way, let's get into the draft. We've got to play around with like some really cool cards on the enchantment sheet the past few drafts as well. Bitter Blossom, Necropotence, uh, Goblin Bombardment. Still haven't been Boros yet in this format, or Blue-White. And uh, I don't know if that's going to continue here. Okay. Well, we have a Tale of the Ages as Enchanted Creatures. We have two great signpost uncommons for Black, Red, and Black, Green. And we have this red card here. Give something double strike, and it's a 5 mana 5-4 five, menace. This is probably the most responsible pick, but I think either of these are good to pick as well. Starting off with a double colored card can be kind of challenging, but if we, I think if we can get into black-green, I would like to be black-green. It's definitely one of these uncommons that's the first pick. We're going to take the Greta. See what comes of that. Right now, not a whole lot. There's a Sweet Tooth, which is a card I haven't really played with yet. Um, but right now, we're still just going to take the best card in the pack. If I would taken the red card or the black red card, I don't think I'd be any better or worse off here. I think regardless of which of those three uncommons I picked first, my second pick is going to be this Woodland Acolyte. Just seems like the best card in the pack. I could take a Shatter the Oath, but I can usually find these a bit later on in the draft. Same with Hopeless Nightmare and, and Sweet Tooth, which I don't think it's good enough to want a second pick. Uh, and we're not dedicated to any particular cut. We're dedicated to white now. Oh, but then again, there's a Hamlet glutton here, too. But we've got, oh, we've got such great options all over the place. So it's between the Hopeful Vigil, Feed the Cauldron, Sweet Tooth Witch, and Hamlet Glutton. Ah, uh, wow. 
I'm gonna try the glutton. I think I I don't think any of those for ooh. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't take a white card there. And this still goes with black green. Um, wouldn't have minded that feed the cauldron though. Well, we've got a forced fruition here. This card could be kind of interesting. Like you play it, and your opponent gets to cast like two or three more spells before running out of cards in their deck. I don't know. I, I don't like giving my opponent... I'm a control player at heart. I don't like giving my opponent cards. Uh, what's this thing? Enters the battlefield. Return target creature or enchantment from your graveyard to your hand. Whenever enchantment is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter. That seems good. Uh, it seems like it'd be good enough to splash, but I haven't pick this sweet tooth witch enough so I'm gonna pick it now when now seems like a good time to pick it and we've got a Lord scheduled oh we have a uh, mythic to pick here yep gonna pick the mythic still auto picking mythics otherwise I would pick the Lord Skitter's butcher it's a great card but uh, not gonna pass up on mythics just for collection efficiency I know other than picking the mythics, I really don't care that much about the uh, collection efficiency. And see, here's a Shatter the Oath, but here's also a Conceited Witch, which is going to be the pick. Because I do have a tendency to not have enough creatures in some of my drafts in this format, and I don't want that to happen. I could take the Prophetic Prism. We have a number of three drops already, especially if I run this Woodland Acolyte, which I think it's fairly reasonable. Uh, other good cards, there's Obira, there's Quick Study. Let's take the Prism here. I noticed there's like no green to be had. Uh, Minstrosity came back, that's a reasonable two drop. There's some decent blue commons here, uh, but I need more than commons to be a reason to get into blue. I mean, this is a good reason to get into blue, I think. Uh, but I'm going to take the other Sweet Tooth Witch. And actually, if we're splashing white, we already have three things that make food. This could be a deck where you play the Griffin Airy. Oh, why is this still here? I'm just going to take it because it's not supposed to be there. Uh, Besotted Knight is not really this deck. I'll take the 2-drop. We might cut that. Expel the Interlopers. That is a board wipe. Oh my gosh, look at this. We got Welcome to Sweet Tooth. Oh, we've got Goblin Bombardment here. Oh gosh. Well, we're not red. We've got Kanto. What a strong pack. I don't think I can take this. Even though we are splashing white, it is double white. In theory, I could end up just splashing. I'm going to take Welcome to Sweet Tooth. It makes a food. It does what we want to be doing. I'm going to cry about the candy grapple. Ah, uh, and suddenly I'm not crying anymore. Awesome bomb rare in our colors. Yeah, when it ETBs, you get a monster roll, you can sacrifice an aura attached to it, so you could attach other rolls to it later on, and then fight things and exile stuff. Yeah, this is going to be the pick. Maybe the Shatter the Oath will come back and we can pick that up. Or even the Hollow Scavenger, that'd be a good pickup for our deck as well. All right, uh... We're not main color white, so I think splashing for the two that we have is fine. We could also splash for this. Or just run another Sweet Tooth Witch. Although this can get back a creature or enchantment from our graveyard. We have some good things to get back. Or do I just want the Sweet Tooth Witch? Uh, let's just take the Sweet Tooth Witch. And maybe, oh, hey, I can get a Fell Horde. That can bring stuff back. 
Uh, but I don't think it's going to be Fell Horseman here. We've got a 4-mana four 4-4. Four, four. As long as you own a card in Exile that has an adventure. And we've got a... Yeah, well, we've got that witch. We've got that, too. Alright. I can get on board with that. Oh, and we have a Pollen Bright Hair... Creature tokens, that's not really what we're doing, is it? Minstrosity, we do want more two drops, and this is like the two drop to be having. I would like a fell horseman, but I feel like those go kind of late and we can get those fairly easily. Alright, so we got Season of Growth, Genealogist, Toadstool Admirer. I'm going to take the Shatter of the Oath here. I think this is a good spot to pick that up. And we have a Scream Puff. We have a blue rare. Uh, but I'm going to take the Scream Puff here. Because that's a nice card for the food deck. We're, we're, do we're doing the food synergy this time. Um, nobody is blue-red, apparently. I'm not either, so... I'll take the Sting Blade Assassin. I don't think it's really for this deck. Why in the world did this wheel... I was going to take it because it's not supposed to be here. We could even... It's not too crazy to splash this. I mean, it is crazy to splash both this and that. I'm just going to put that away. Uh, I don't think Titanic Growth is what we want, so I'll take a second Shatter the Oath here. Oh, look, I got this thing back, too. I also got Spider Food. Yeah, let's let's take the let's take this. I can find a spider food later. Here's a thing that makes rolls. Uh, I need some more like two drops though. So that's what we're gonna be looking for in this third pack here. Uh, not no. Hey, there's a two drop. And it's everything. Once again, it's like really kind of difficult to get into green. Like we're picking up a few good green cards early on in the pack because. You know, people can only take one card at a time. Why would you pass the Broken Crown? Oh, there's a Hamlet Glutton in here. <laughs> Another Candy Grapple. But I, I can't pass this crown. I just can't. It's so obnoxious to play against. Would have loved that Candy Grapple. But we've got two Minstrosities. We have two Welcome to Sweet Tooths. I don't think we want to splash that. We could. We have a lot of high mana value cards. I could take the Fawn. The Fawn or the Minstrosity. We already have two Minstrosities. I could also take... Actually, Royal Treatment would be cool. Nice protection card. What is this now? I mean, there's Cooped Up. Could just take the green 2-drop. Which could be fine. Um, this is not the green card we want. Baro Naughty, do we have any other fairies? No, we have like every creature type in this whole set that isn't a fairy. Uh, so I think here I'm going to take the Fell Horseman. Oh, uh, there's a late torch to the tower, and this thing. Alright. Uh, Leaping Ambush is a cool card, but I'm going to take another Sweet Tooth Witch. I mean, in case I get another... In case I want to splash those two. Um... I'll take our first Barrow Naughty. That could be something we... How much Sweet Tooth Witching is too much Sweet Tooth Witching? Let's take the Scavenger. That's supposed to be really good in this uh, archetype as well. We have a billion three drops, and... Suddenly we're out of stuff we're interested in. 
Yeah, once again, we hardly saw any green going around here. Let's start grabbing uncommons. I mean, we can play this card. Okay, what don't I have? I don't have a lot of these Twisted Fealties, which actually go great with Goblin Bombardment. However, I think we want to splash the white for the Griffin Airy. We didn't find any of our nice splash lands either. Alright, well since we have the Fell Horseman, maybe we don't want Neva. I think this card is reasonable enough to include. And we have a Prophetic Prism. We're not really into the Wicked Visitor. I'm not really into the Borrow Naughty either. And then three drops. I could actually get rid of this Woodland Acolyte. Because we have so many three drops as it is, but it also returns a permanent. I can get rid of this. How much do we care about the Conceited Witch? And how much do I care about the Woodland Acolyte? I could, in theory, just cut those two. It does kind of leave us with a lot of... We have the prism. What all do we have with bargain? We have candy grapple to bargain it away. Here we have Hamlet Glutton, so a couple of uses for it. Actually, Hilda's Crown can draw us cards. So I think we can cut that. And then that still leaves us with one, two, three white sources for this Griffin area that we don't need immediately anyways. But does fit very well in the deck. I like that. I do think since we have so much great, and I've already kind of cut the uh, those two things, since we have so many great ETB effects, and just things we want to be, we would want to bring back, I'm going to keep the Fell Horseman in the deck. The other thing I'm nervous about is all our one or, or two drops have one toughness in a format with lots of one toughness removal. It kind of makes me want to play the Conceited Witch. I still have to cut two cards. The Coven's not an awful card. But we have so many... We have so many three drops. I'm, I'm going to cut the Witch. I'm just going to kind of go in with the food. 
I think to shatter the oath is kind of nice here because we can also put the roll back on this guy to fight again. Oh, this wants me to own a card in exile that has adventure, which I just kind of cut one of those. I cut a couple of them actually, yeah. But I think that's okay. Um, do we need Spell Scorn Coven? Probably not. We just want to hit with big stuff. Eight Swamp, Seven Forest. We have two double green cards. We do want to make sure we hit black mana for this, however. Yeah, I think this is going to be the deck. Uh, we'll make the troll the star card. All right, yeah, let's uh, let's go for it. Let's have a feast. I want to see that. Uh, I want that Griffin Airy to to go off and do some work. Because I know everybody talks about that it's it's like the card you'd want to splash in the green black food deck, and here we are. We're actually able to do it. We've got tons of food. Oh, actually, I have something to do on turn one. We're up against a fellow green deck. A uh, fellow green black deck. I am not running that card. I don't even think we saw that card in the draft. So we'll just play out our Minstrosity, play out our Hollow Scavenger. Hopefully we get another forest. That's not a forest, but that's a good one. I'm gonna attack here. Yeah, we'll play out this. So this can sack a food to get plus two, plus two until end of turn. Activate only once each turn. So next turn I can play the Sweet Tooth Witch. Well, that can just die. That's fine, too. Oh, hey, I got the White Source. Uh, let's play it just to make our opponents nervous. Do this. Get another food. So this is 6, 8, effectively 10 damage as long as this stays on the board. Scream Puff, that thing's already dead. Oh, and a welcome to Sweet Tooth. Fascinating. Destroy this. I'm gonna put the roll here so that uh, a rat out or something doesn't kill my monstrosity. And our opponent could actually just be dead here. Because we can start throwing these creepy foods at them. What? Okay. Howling Great Fang, okay. I see what you're doing. I, however... We just win. We just win. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered what he blocked there. I had fun. My food synergies worked. Plus, I'm playing draft. Of course I have fun playing draft. Yeah, all those food we're generating, those four Sweet Tooth Witches, that's going to be, like, very brutal. I've been on the other end of that card, and you always have to keep that ability in mind. Catfish. Okay. Perfect. Minstrosity into Greta. 
Oh cool, I can even keep the uh, white source hidden a little bit longer. There's a tough cookie for our opponent. No attacking. Uh, we'll play the Greta. That way the tough cookie can't just attack in. That's an uncommon I didn't get in this deck. Passing the turn, huh? That only activates as a sorcery. All right, let's do this then. Land is okay. The question is, do I want to sack the food to draw? Well, probably. It is, after all, just drawing a card. An opponent just did nothing for the whole turn. I know he was threatening to make this a 4-4, and I couldn't do anything about it. Uh, I can kill that. Because I don't want that thing. That's... Oops. That's not what I was supposed to do. All right, fine. Uh, let's make the... I mean, Greta's already kind of a big target. But there's not going to be any minus one, minus one stuff in there, and this would still trade here. So let's make Greta bigger. And come in for seven. An opponent takes seven. And next turn, because of the Prophetic Prism, I can still double spell. Alright. I can also bring Greta back. We have so many good options. I'm a little bit more interested in double spelling here, because our opponent is so low on life. Ooh, royal treatment. We might do that. Let's go attacking and see what happens. Because I can just put Royal Treatment on whatever this food is going to block, and that's going to be three mana. And I can also throw this food at them. Oh, I could also just get back the Sweet Tooth Witch instead of getting back Greta, because then I play Sweet Tooth Witch and throw the last food at them, they're going to be at one life after this. I think that is exactly what I'm going to do. So this is lethal. Oh, there's a third color. So this is lethal. This is lethal. Opponent will need to gain life here. A land would actually be a pretty good draw. All 
I guess I didn't... Yeah, yeah, that didn't let me activate this thing twice, but, you know, whatever. Didn't find the Gryphon here yet. Didn't find either of our rares yet, either. We're just killing people with food. I'm okay with that. I mean, we're, we're still winning. Daniel Clevin. That sounds like a very noble name and a very noble avatar to go with it. Oh, perfect. I don't know how good this is in our deck. I mean, we have a few enchantment-y roll things. I'm actually going to play that out first, because if they're going to do, like, a Torch the Tower... I'd prefer this thing to get Torched, even though it might not seem like it. Up the Beanstalk, okay. Yeah, I'm okay with trading here. More happy to trade the Minstrosity than the Sweet Tooth Witch. The opponent wants to be aggressive. Yeah. Got a kill spell and a Hamlet Goliath. I'm gonna play the Goliath next turn, bargain away a food. Because a 6 6 is gonna be really difficult for a red green deck to deal with. There's the Torch Tower. And also, when you bargain away a food, it's like he eats the food, but we eat it as well, because we. That's weird. Don't eat the same food he eats, but yeah. 6-6 six, six is going to be too tough for a red-green deck to deal with, especially on two lands. Hey, we're up to three wins already. That's sweet. Just check and make sure the recording's going well. It is. Yeah, I've been having a uh, pretty good time with the, the drafts. I just like drafting in general. Like, every draft you do is a different navigation uh, process as far as your picks and the deck you end up building. Still haven't seen either of our raiders. Or the Griffinary. We're just seeing lots of good cards. I'm gonna keep this. We've got a couple things to do. We'll draw more land. We'll pretend we have a rat out here. Uh, Borrow Naughty just doesn't care if we have a rat out or not. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Minstrosity. It's stronger. It trades with this. Well, not when they attack, but, you know. Knight of Doves. Not a fan of that. Oh, I am really not a fan of that. Makes a wicked roll as well. I'm gonna pitch a land. 
because we'll draw more land and probably the stream puff. Opponent still wants to race. Now that discard was nasty. That's also not nice. Alright. All my stuff has one toughness. Okay. That's actually a really bad idea. I mean, you get the thing. But now I get more... I should give it to the Trampler. I can't use this all as soon as I untap, but I could use two of it. Alright, well, I'm not going to need the Giant. Because if I get to land, I just shatter. Oh, you gained life. You weren't supposed to do that. If I kill this, they're going to get four, five, six. That's six. Two, four... Let's kill the other fairy. Roll to this thing so they can't kill it. Horseman, okay, you're gonna get the fairy back. But you can't just attack me like that. You can't even attack me like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you also can't do that either. <laughs> oh, sweet tooth witch. That card is so tricky to play against when you get to low life. Uh, we're a platinum tier one. I still have not seen either of the rares. Fawnsbane Troll and Hilda's Crown of Winter and Griffin Airy, where are you guys? You're letting all the commons and uncommons do all the work. Mainly Sweet Tooth Witch. Well, Greta and everything else has been, been good. Minstrosity's done a ton of work, too. Ghost Ham Sandwich. I was about to say, I don't have black, so this might not be keepable, but then I saw the uh, prism. And we're good. Alchemist for our opponent. against a blue-white deck. Uh, I don't mind trading off a Sweet Tooth Witch if one of these end up trading, because I have four of these in the deck, which is a ridiculous amount to have. Alright, cool. Uh, we're going to go attacking. I feel like there's got to be counter spells. Those aren't counter spells. You're... All right. 
Like I said, it's all fine. It's all good. I will trade this for one of those guys. There could be an ice out. Now there's definitely something. Uh, Greta's a little bit too important here, especially since we don't actually have anything else going on in our hand. Alright, sure. All right, now we can play Greta. Or we could play Scream Puff. That is more mana efficient. So let's get the Scream Puff down and just, I don't know, scream into the night. Oh, another sweet, sweet Tooth Witch. All right, let's go attacking. It's what this deck does. Don't kill it. You have another one of those? Alright. So I do need to watch the flyers. This is about to untap. Into the Fey Court. I'll trade the Sweet Tooth Witch with the 3-3. Three, three. Living Lectern. Alright. Yeah, we'll trade here. That's not a food, that's just horror. I can actually do it again. We are having issues with flyers. Sleep Cursed Fairy. Ooh. Hilda's Crown of Winter. Hello there. Uh, our opponent doesn't know we have this yet. Actually, yeah, we're going to have to save this and tap a thing on their turn. Because I know that can untap. Well, this, this could get close here. We're going to tap this. Attacking for four. I mean, I can't do anything about it. I don't need to do anything about it, per se. That is rude. If 
because that thing can still untap. Yeah, that happened. Another one of those threadbind. That's three threadbind clicks. I need to draw something here, and I need to draw something now. Not pay to you. Again, I'm just a little bit short here. Forced chump block. I needed another land. Because now I just die in the air. Very close. Because I can gain three. But that's not enough soon enough. Alright. Yeah, just opponent just had too many threadbind clicks. Way too many of those. And now we're up against deck. What does deck do? Deck finally draws rares. Uh, well, now I can't really pretend we have Rat out, because we don't. Ideally, I want to play this on 5 mana so I can use its fight effect right away. Can you stop trying to kill me, please? For just one minute. Oh, it is Boros. Ah, uh, that needs to die very... Not bargain, just kill the thing. Thank you. Don't want that making rolls and celebrating and all the other nonsense. There's a prism. Let's get the crown going. Oh, that's right, it costs one less to tap a thing during my turn. Return track on the Oh, gosh. Yeah, we were on the draw against this deck, weren't we? Well, I got a 4-4, just don't have a cut-in. Whatever else you, you're planning on doing, don't do it either. Why does that thing get a... Oh, because it has the hero roll. Oh, well, that's what I'm going to lock. And it's going to go horribly wrong. The monster roll... Oh. Alright, alright. One one is not going to be good enough. I guess we'll play the troll. I could have played the... I could have... I probably should have played this Sweet Tooth Witch and tapped something. Because then this happens and you just die. 
Uh, Boros aggro doing Boros aggro things. Being on the draw there really hurt us. And not having any of our main two drops on curve. But at least we got to cast the rares. Yeah, I definitely should have played the Sweet Tooth Witch and kept a mana open for the crown. Kept the minion. Oh no, that's it. Okay. Um, it works because we have the Prophetic Prism. Yeah, we had Candy Grapple as our start. Oh, we have uh, a forest now too. I'm going to get the Welcome to Sweet Tooth going. Now that I don't need the prism to play it. Crystal Grotto for our opponent. And a Minstrosity. Alright, well this is a good blocker on that. And we'll have a Sweet Tooth Witch that we can potentially put the counters on. Should it survive long enough? I'm also assuming the Minstrosity is just going to ram itself into my token. I mean, there's no reason to assume that's just going to happen. If I draw another... I mean, I'm fine with it. If I draw another 2-drop like a Minstrosity, though, I'm going to play that so I can hold open the Royal Treatment token and protect it from whatever removal spell you may have. Alright. Ramping up and getting that. Okay. Well, we didn't, so let's just do this. Get another food. Threaten to make the Witch really, really big. If our opponent waits to play a removal spell till we target it, that would be a horrible mistake. No, nope, wait. We didn't wait. Alright, well I got nothing to... Ooh. Actually, I want to wait on this until we can protect it. We know we need to kill this thing now. And I can get the prison down. Because we have the lands to protect... Oh, we... no, wait, we have the prison. Never mind, we're good. We have enough green. And I don't have an enchanted... Oh, a card I own in exile. It's a, I was thinking I needed an enchanted creature or something for this to have haste, but nope, it's just not going to have haste. Oh, there's Greta. And there's a screen puff. But we're going to keep the royal treatment open. Especially since our opponent now gets to draw more cards. Yep, that's card draw. Yeah, I've got a Greta in my deck, too. Hopefully we find it. The thing that makes this... That's not good either. Well, I guess we just play Scream Puff and pass the turn. Scream Puff can trade with the Glutton.
getting the full extra card draw. We need our Greta to make up for this. Oh, hey. How about that? Or my Griffin area. I haven't had that yet. Or the crown. The crown would be nice, too. Or even our troll rare. Oh, it wouldn't handle the glutton. Or one of our Shatter the Oaths, that would handle the glutton. Kinda need Greta to die. I kinda need a lot of things to die over there. Uh, you're splashing for red, I'm splashing for white. Doing nothing is not a winning strategy? Alright. Drawing more cards. That's three extra cards he's drawn off of, uh... Greta. That's fine. That's not gonna happen. Oh, perfect. Uh, goodbye, Greta. After you've drawn a billion cards off of it. But now I can start attacking. We're in a decent shape here. I just need my Greta to make up for the extra three cards he drew. Alright, going for this upkeep scry. So there can't be a Shatter the Oath here, because there's only... unless you have a Swamp in hand. One top, one bottom. If I get the Fell Horseman, I can get the Scream Puff back. That'd be nice, too. Another Sweet Tooth Witch. And that guy. Okay. I mean, I did ask for it. Oh, let's go attacking. Kind of wanted him to kill the 4-4, but, you know. That's fine, too. He doesn't have any enchantments in the immediate vicinity. I like having Fell Horseman in my decks, it, just as a one-of. That's not impressive. Oh, hey, there's my thing. Um... Yeah, that can only kill one of them, so let's just go with the Scream buff. And we get a food. And we play things.
Yeah, our decks, our decks are almost a mirror match, except we're splashing white, he's splashing black. Or, er, er, red. Excuse me. I guess it's time for me to find my Greta. Our opponent has seen, yeah, four extra cards than we have. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna keep that in hand. With three... Yeah, with three of our, our things... I'm gonna take out the, uh... I'm fine with this trade. Even though I don't have another way of getting it back. We do have... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe I should play land, I don't know. I do have three more Sweet Tooth Witches in the deck. Oh, he howls like a gale fang. All right. It's gonna double trade. Sweet Tooth Witch, Greta, something for me. We got a two-turn clock on our opponent. It's Top Deck Wars. But I have the food. Troublemaker, oof. You're... bargaining that? Sure. I want Griffin Airy. Can I have Griffin Airy? It would be so good here. Oh, hey, we win. <laughs> Just take this. No, get back here. I'm not do done doing my stuff. Ah. <sighs> uh. Sweet Tooth Witch is silly. Especially when you have four of them. Alright, so now the only thing we haven't seen is the Griffin Airy. I have two losses. Oh yeah, the Boros deck and then the other... thing that ran us over. There it is. We're keeping it. Yeah, it... Oh, I should have put the swamp out. Pretended we had rat out. Wouldn't have made a difference. We got Welcome to Sweet Tooth into Greta, and a Fell Horseman to bring back the Greta. Or bring back this nonsense. Yeah. And we're up against a fellow black green deck. It's happening. All right, let's just do this. Oh, uh, we'll pass. So this says, at the beginning of your end step, if you gain three or more life, you get a 2-2 Griffin. Okay. So our next turn might just be Griffin Airy sack of food. I'm gonna put it here. Okay. I think that's exactly what our turn is about to be. Blocking. Oh, okay, okay, that's fair. 
That's right, because that's food that gets big. That's fine. That's fine. I can also sack food and draw cards. What's that going to do? Make treasures? I'm debating on whether I want another 2-2 or if I want to draw a card and lose a life. Oh, so much we can do with food. Do I have a Sweet Tooth Witch in here? I do not. It's okay, we've got massive pressure on the board. I uh, just don't have... The board wipe is double white. I mean, it could happen, but... Let's be reasonable. Three bowls of porridge. Well, that's reasonable. Killing a griffin. That's fine. Yeah, this is kind of why... Oh, exile the top three cards of your opponents. Ooh. That's not good. Howl Fang, welcome to Sweet Tooth and Prophetic Prism. Oh gosh, that's so awful. You can cast all that too, can't ya? Yes, you can. What is that? That's an uncommon? Corvold and the Noble Thief. I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, hey, I found food. Um, but we have a little bit more important stuff to do right now. I wish... Oh, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Because that's going to trade them. Yeah, I think trading is fine, because I can just get it back with the Fell Horseman. Yeah, it didn't kill my... that thing. Cat. Okay. And we get aggressive. This is trample damage. Opponent has a whole bunch of cards. Are two two flyers better than a random card draw? That's that's what we gotta ask ourselves. Also, let's keep in mind adventure cards. Okay, no adventure cards here. Agatha's Champion. Well, now we don't have to worry about that option. Do I have... Do not. Yeah. Wasn't that adorable? Okay. I 
I can get back the troll, but that doesn't really do much. So I guess we want to get back Greta. To get more food. And not play Greta yet. This is like three tokens we've got out of this so far. Okay, so that's bigger. I don't care how big that is. I mean, this thing still has the tap ability and can sack and gain three. It's got a little bit of work to get through. Remember, essentially, he's trading these kill spells and tricks for the food tokens that we've been generating. This only gives plus two, plus two. And the stuff with an adventure. Green Puff is a good one. I think we do just need to be efficient here. Are you going to tap my... I will attack. The most efficient thing I can do is playing this and the Fell Horseman. Oh, the Hamlet Glutton. I didn't want to see him. Do I double block here? I think we do just to get rid of one of these guys. Now, opponent's really been hanging on. Oh, don't tell me you have another... Oh, that's gross. Fights up to one target creature you don't control. Okay, well... It's not going to be fighting that. And I guess there's no point... and sacking the food for the 2-2 while that thing can still fight. Alright, no blocking. Okay, anything in here? Oh, you have the cal Oh, the cell sword. That's gonna kill my. Ah, oh, now we're completely out of stuff to do. And I've already used the fell horseman. That's on the bottom of the deck. So I'm not gonna be getting back the Greta. You didn't play that because.
You let me get a food while I have this? Okay. I really wish I had that, uh, the royal treatment. That, yeah, we're just gonna trade here. Fine with that. Okay, another land by our opponent. Shouldn't be playing lands because now I know what the rest of his hand is. Yep, there goes my thing. Okay, Minstrosity is reasonable. Let's sack this. Gain some life. Griffinary has been putting in work in this game. Uh, I don't need to block that. Nothing to bargain. All right, opponent, you have to block the monstrosity and give me a food. Okay, I have lethal flyers. I've gained so much life in this game, too. Oh, grabby giant. Darn it. Give me one of my shatters. Just give me one of my shatters, please. Uh, you know what? Close enough. That was indeed a good game. <laughs> wow. Alright, cool. I got, I got all my wishes. We've had all of our rares. The crown hasn't done a ton of work yet. But, uh, we did get to... Oh, we're at six wins. We did get to do the Griffin Airy thing at least once. Protest the bread. Why are we protesting bread? This time I will pretend that I have a rat out. Oh, that thing. I don't like that thing. But it's okay because my opponent probably isn't going to like the stuff we're playing. Uh, now, don't you have rat out? We need a fourth land, preferably another forest. Okay. And again, more Sweet Tooth Witches are fine. Talion's Messenger. It's not what I wanted to be seeing. And not getting a fourth land is also not what I wanted to be seeing. Because I really need to kill that Messenger. I 
I don't just want to play this. I might just have to play Well, it's not going to be able to anyways, because it's going to be at least five toughness now. Never mind. What is this? We're splashing green? Ego drain. All right. Well, if they don't take the fell horseman, I can just get it back. Awkward. Oh, that thing can also untap now, too. Because it takes two mana to untap it. So I don't even have an attack here. Tough decision for our opponent. Yep, <laughs> ended up going with the Fell Horseman. Oh, hey, look what I found. Kinda want to make sure I have a fifth land. And if there's a counter spell, I would rather this get countered. All right. Didn't get countered. I just don't have an attack there because opponent could untap that thing. My this thing is going to be untapping too. Oh, you milled a land. Well, I'm happy you milled three land. They see another. Oh, so many sweet tooth witches. Ah, uh, this thing is going to be. Number of creatures in all graveyards, that's... okay. Discarded an ice out. Going for a race here. Well, let's just attack with everything, because this is, you know, a massive load of damage. No. No, we're not doing that. Uh, we can bargain and kill this, I am sure. Has ward two. All right, massive load of damage. Oh. Painful. Ego drain, okay. You ego drain, you're having issues on board. It's a 4-4, and uh, that is game. Because I have the Sweet Tooth Witch activation, I have, you know, massive attack again. I've also been doing very well in this uh, format. After we got past the first few drafts, uh, it's just been a lot of... I think this is my fourth seven wins out of 11 drafts or something. Didn't I have six wins last? I had a bunch of... I had several five wins, too. One final look at the deck. The uh, crown got the least chance to shine, but at least, at least I get got to do this thing in one game. And uh, boy, was it good! And uh, four sweet tooth witch. That happened to be the all star card of the deck for sure. Oh, this rare was nice to have too, even though it mostly just got to hang out. Uh, Scream Puff, Glutton, Shatter, Howling Galefang. All these, all these cards did a lot of work. Uh, Greta especially, Welcome to Sweet Tooth. 
We didn't get royal treatment a lot either. That that was the other card that didn't get too many chances to shine, but it did have uh, one or two nice opportunities. Yeah, great deck. Uh, I had fun. I hope you guys did too, and we'll claim our prize. And for now, I'll take my leave. <laughs>